Good morning, everyone. My name is Mighty Stream. I'm going to do your October the 23rd Spiritual Principle Day in a Meditation. October 23rd. Hey, a shout out to my girl, Tasha. Congratulations on another year alive. Congratulations. Thank you for joining me every day. I really enjoy the time we spend together. Okay. October 23rd, expressing our autonomy with integrity. Autonomy allows us to express who we are with integrity and to carry a message, the truth of our own experience in our own way. That comes from Guiding Principles, Tradition 4, Opening Reflection. The autonomy spoken of in Tradition 4 has a strong appeal to many of us in MA. We are people who tend to put a pretty high value on self-determination. An act of addiction, insistence on doing things our way often led to poor results, usually because our way had to do with self-centeredness rather than integrity. In recovery, autonomy becomes an asset rather than a liability. As our basic text puts it, our real value is in being ourselves. It's the second half of Tradition 4 that keeps us on track, except in matters affecting other groups or NA as a whole. For NA groups, excuse me, this means we think about our role as part of the fellowship, not just what our own group wants. As individual recovering addicts, we balance our right to do what we please with our responsibilities to those around us, family, friends, the fellowship, and society. One way we begin to learn that balance is on how we share in meetings. As a newcomer, my sharing was super aggressive and put some people on edge, a member wrote. My justification was, hey, this is who I am. After a while, I tried to mimic the way others shared, but it wasn't my own voice and it always came out wrong. Eventually, I got comfortable being me while also thinking about the feelings of those around me. I finally started to connect. In any group of people, excuse me, if any group of people can sniff out a fake, it's addicts. Authenticity is a message that lasts, whether it comes in the form of a riveting performance or an understated soft-spoken share. Whether we're trying to reach a still suffering addict or save our own life, we try to strike the right balance between autonomy and responsibility, freedom and self-control, self-determination and connection. Being autonomous doesn't mean disregarding those around me. I will practice balancing personal freedom with social responsibility. Let's take a moment of silence followed by the wee version of the serenity prayer. Moment of silence now, please. Thank you. God, grant us the serenity to accept the things that we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Just for today, Please and thank you. How powerful is that to be able to have a conversation about expressing autonomy with integrity? So autonomy, right? It's almost like, you know, self, self, um, I don't know. It has to do with oneself, right? To keep it simple. And autonomy is basically, I am concerned about my program, my life, and the things that would improve it. Autonomy is not anonymous or anonymity, okay? Autonomy and anonymity are two separate words. So I want to start there. So autonomy allows us to express who we are with integrity and to carry the message, the truth of our own experience in our own way. 
right? And so each group is autonomous, except, this is important, each group is autonomous, except in matters affecting other NA groups or NA as a whole, right? So every group operates separately, and that's the way that it should be. However, we do need to be mindful of other NA groups, what our group does, the message we're sending, how it might affect other groups and NA as a whole, but we also do that on an individual level. So yeah, you get to share what you want to share the way you want to share it. But at some point in time, our recovery should allow us to be mindful of those around us when we're sharing, right? That if there's people suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder, or they've been sharing about domestic abuse, do we come into the meeting and we share in a violent manner, like so malicious style when we're sharing? Absolutely not. We're mindful that we might trigger people. And that's okay. It's okay to find that balance and to adjust how we share. I hope this has been helpful for you today. My name is Mighty Stream. I hope that you will have a beautiful day on purpose.